Amir Khan considering retirement after defeat, but Kelbrook may continue. There was a hug at the end of the press conference. Amir Khan was huddled inside a tracksuit, looking like he had just emerged from a car crash, while Kelbrook, top off, barely had a mark on him, as if he had just wandered in from a day on the beach. No sport so brutally divides winners and losers as boxing. The long-running rivalry had been settled in Brooks' favor. But Khan took his licks, he refused to go down and he showed incredible pride and heart long after any conceivable hope had gone. Respect, which probably always lurked beneath the surface, was on full display, at last. For Brooke, it was the fulfillment of his career. Getting that win, it's all worth it and you can see it on my face, he said. I'll be remembered for this. Brooke has spent his career in Khan's shadow, and he poured years of frustration into what turned into a one-sided assault. The fight between two 35-year-olds had always been about who had what left. For Khan, the answer was very little. From the moment he was rocked by a straight left in the first round, Khan looked booked for defeat. Heart and pride kept his feet beneath him as he tried to fight back. But from the fifth he mostly moved backwards, looking for an unlikely place of safety, until, 51 seconds into the sixth round, the referee Victor Laughlin stepped in to stop the fight. It wasn't quite how Brooke had imagined it when he dreamt about the fight many times. I would have liked a bit more clinical knockout, like Canelo, Brooke said. But the referee was there to save him. It was going to get bad. He was tough. He has taken some good shots. He has been fantastic for the sport because he is always involved in fights where he can get hurt and he can hurt fighters. He has been a two-time world champion for a reason. I'm just happy that it's done now. Brooke, the former IBF welterweight champion, hinted that he might retire on a high, although he was warming to the idea of continuing when told that both Conor Ben and Chris Eubank Jr. had been calling him out. I've just beaten Amir Khan, I am flavor of the month again, so I'm the man, Brooks said. They have to get in line. Maybe they should fight each other first. While Khan stopped short of announcing his retirement, he will surely bring to an end what has been one of the most standout and exciting careers in British boxing. After two and a half years of inactivity, he recognized he just couldn't find his groove at the Manchester Arena. I've always said I don't want boxing to retire me, I want to retire from boxing, he said. I took some big shots and showed heart, but too much of that can be harmful in the future. So, I'm going to sit down with my wife, my dad, and my family and see where we go. Khan will have his detractors, but he had a spectacular career after winning Olympic silver at the Athens Olympics in 2004, aged 17. That victory made him a superstar and transformed British boxing, leading to a huge upgrade in funding for the GB amateur setup and laying the pathway for the string of gold medal winners that followed. He was a world champion at 22, taking the WBA light welterweight title from Andreas Kotelnik, and then adding the IBF title by stopping Zab Judah. He headlined in New York and Las Vegas on numerous occasions, although he was unable to secure the fight he always wanted against Floyd Mayweather. He had his flaws, a suspect chin and the habit of throwing himself in the way of danger by getting involved when he didn't have to. But it was never dull. I've done more than I ever expected. Khan said. Maybe I peaked too early in my career. I'm 35 now. I've been in the game a long time. I want to be there for my family and my kids and take them to school.